Eben Field and Kohler were tonight. Lutheran Kohler Christian takes on Howard's Grove. Hello, everybody. My name is Mike Martin. Joining me is the coach, Chris Wright. Chris, we never expected to see Howard's Grove 0-4 this year, yet they come in here tonight with that record. They're 0-2 in conference. Uh, Lutheran Kohler Christian 2-2, two two, but they're 0-2 in conference also. So crawling out of the cellar is a big deal. Yeah, it's one of those days that you're, you know, both coaches probably didn't expect to be here. You know, when you started way back in August, you know, being 0-4 or 0-2 in conference and things like that. But, you know, this is one of those games on the schedule that you got to say, well, this is one we got to get, and maybe we can turn our season from today. And, you know, with the weather coming the way it is, it could be a wacky game. We had a chance to talk with uh, Andy Hansen on the way over, and uh, he mentioned something that, uh, in a way, we talked about last week, and that is the game is won in the trenches, and he said they just don't have a real big line out at Howard's Grove. No, and if I was uh, Sheboygan Lutheran Christian, what I would do is I'd pack a, or pack a lot of balls into the belly of Zach Webster and let him just run and run and run and run and run and run. I think tonight's going to be one of those games that's going to be very high scoring. Howard's Grove's giving up the fewest points is 36 this year, and... Uh, one of the things like they said they're not big up front, so I'd feed that big that big man tonight. The other thing I think uh, what you're alluding to also is keep the ball out of the hands of Eric Dickmeyer because he likes to throw it. And uh, Mike Verfurth has, uh, matter of fact, he's leading the area in catches with 26. So keeping the ball out of those two guys' hands is a big deal too. Yeah, not only that, but he's uh, second in state in yards and third in the, in the state in catches. So that's that's two pretty good states, not just the area, but in the whole state of Wisconsin. He's, you know, somebody that, you know, probably is going to be targeted tonight. And sounds like a lot of fun, probably a lot of high scoring. I think one of the things probably to watch is, unfortunately, we watched a couple weeks ago, turnovers. I think the team with the fewest turnovers tonight might win the ball game. Oh, uh, one thing about Verfurth, too, is he's uh, prone to the big play. <laughs> I think I counted three 60-yard receptions. <laughs> yeah, so we'll see We'll see what happens there with the big play. And another thing we, we noticed, too, we've been out here. Every time we're out here, there's a kickoff return. So we've got to see if that happens tonight. Yeah, and with that, we're going to step out, and when we come back, we'll have the uh, starting lineups and the kickoff for tonight's football game. Pop quiz for you. In what movie did I play a gang leader struggling in school? Who was my teacher? What did I learn in math class? Oh, and here's one about you. What did your kid learn in math class today? Know what really matters. Know about your kid's school. And know about your kid. Find out 100 ways to know more, do more. United Church of Christ. No matter who you are or where you are in life's journey, you're welcome here. If you're not helping after school programs, you're really helping to take them away. That wasn't very nice. After school programs, wouldn't you rather be helping? Jenkins! We're back at Evan Field, and they just went through the starting lineups for uh, both ball clubs. Uh, for Lutheran, they're going to be starting number two, Alan Rodriguez, number six, John Stinson, number seven, Jacob Cans, number 25, Elir Amedi. Number 28, Zach Webster. 55, Connor Ducal. 58, Brandon Kramer. 61, Alex Brower. Number 70, Nick Redeker. 79, Josh Steinkleft. And number 88, Lee Veldkamp. That's the uh, defensive unit for uh, Lutheran Cole or Christian. Howard's Grove's offensive uh, squad is number 10, Eric Dickmeyer. Number 15, Mike Verfurth. Number 20, Colin Hornis. Number 35, Cole Reinemann. Number 45, Adam Sheehan. 52 is Aaron Wagner. 54, Nick Wyklinski. Number 55, Zach Morgan. 
68, Ashton Holzman, 79, Chris Klieger, and number 80, Matt Wiklinski. And uh, Howard, pardon me, Lutheran Kohler Christian will be uh, doing the kicking. Blindauer does that. Top cameras, new person, Marty, Betsy Bai. Yeah, Betsy's uh, seen her first action. And Eric's down below, and as we mentioned before, there's rain coming. It's just a matter of when. And uh, we'll see if that plays a big role tonight. I'm sure it will. <laughs> Kerry Coutzer spinning the dials in the truck tonight. A short kick, but I don't think it went the required 10 yards. <laughs> I don't know what I just saw, Marty. I saw uh, an offside. I saw a kick that hit somebody. I think that was the man offsides was the man who got hit. So we got a penalty, Marty, and the no. clock hasn't even run. I think Peter Becker is the one that went across the line and then got doinked with the ball. Jeez. I don't know. I didn't even see the ball. I'm looking all of a sudden the yeah. guy's running with it at midfield. I'm surprised that Howard doesn't get a shot at that. I'm surprised they called it, you know, just dead so quickly. Let's try again. Yeah. Oh, another dribble. <laughs> oh, and Howard falls on it. Uh, at about the 42-yard line, so they're going to start off with excellent field position. Well, we saw him warming up, Marty. Zach, that is. He took about 100 kicks before the game. I think he should have taken 101. Well, I think he shouldn't have taken so many. His <laughs> foot looked tired. <laughs> Ball spotted on the 41-yard line, first and 10. I don't know if that was the plan. Yeah, definitely. I don't think it was either. Hornis says the uh, back... Pitch out to him. He cuts through. Going to drag uh, tacklers down into uh, Lutheran territory for a first down. Good run. Hornis, here you see the replay. Hornis comes in with 462 yards on 71 carries. Four touchdowns. He's 73rd in the state in rushing. A lot of offense by Howard's Grove, unfortunately. It's 177 points in the first four games on defense. It's been their uh, yeah, situation. Heel. <laughs> Hornis again, right through the line of scrimmage. He's got another first down and barreling over tacklers. He gets down inside the 30 to about the 28. You know, 19 we, yard pickup. And I know we mentioned it before, Marty, but when we, we uh, there's a the nice run there by Hornis. Good replay again, Carey, that uh, we knew that they had some skilled players, Howard's Grove, and I you know, honestly thought they'd compete for a conference championship just because of that, and you saw good speed there by Hornis, but uh, obviously not the start well, on the year that Howard's Grove wants. First and 10 at the 29. Hornis again, the deep back. First back through. Wow. Reineman, he might take it to the house. He does. Touchdown, Howard's Grove. Cole Reineman with a 29-yard run. Jeez, that's yeah. way too easy. Right up the middle. I was just thinking, Marty, why should they change, you know, and throw the football when you, you're just going right up the middle and getting big yards and not the start that LKC wants, that's for sure. Oh, boy. They offered uh, little to no resistance defensively. And again, the uh, line play by uh, Howard's Grove really uh, pushed Luther and Kohler Christian off the line of scrimmage. Kick is up and good by Dustin Robb. With uh, 11.01 remaining in the first quarter, Howard's Grove 7, Luther and Kohler Christian 0. Shot at Alzheimer walking the sidelines. Lutheran Kohler Christian is coached by Matt Zavada. Howard's Grove by uh, Dave Schmidt.
There's those nice graphics that uh, we put into the, the uh, system last week, and nice job, and it looks real sharp. I, I really like what uh, they've done talking with this. with uh, Eric before the game, and he said, you know, when we do this uh, for basketball, they're going to need a separate guy in the truck doing just that because the score changes so frequently. So we might be going with a four-man crew. Maybe. Another clunker. Oh, get on it, baby. Wow. They still haven't signaled, have they? Uh, Lutheran Kohler Christian does have it, but uh, that was a little too, little too close for my blood. First and ten at the 39 yard line. First and ten for uh, LKC. Jacob Cans, Cans at the uh, controls. Deep back is uh, Rodriguez, number two. The up back is uh, Webster. Give it to Rodriguez. Picks up three or four on the play. That's his uh, 45th carry on the year. He has 246 yards. He didn't gain anything there. Are they going to give him one? No, about three, so he's up to 249 yards on the year. Four touchdowns for him. Webster's the main back. He's got 79 carries, 304 yards, and four scores. Second down and seven. Inside handoff to Webster, and he's hit back for a loss. Good penetration in the middle by uh, Brandon Eichhorst. It's going to be third down and just about 10. Oh boy, Chris. Nice crowd across the way tonight. Homecoming. Yep. Part of the reason for that. Cans back, fires it downfield. Catch is made by Veld Veldboom. Veld Camp. Lee Veld Camp on the catch. What you're going to have here is a mistake by the Howard's Grove corner there, or excuse me, safety. He kind of ran up on the ball, and then it goes over his head. So first down for the Crusaders. And I expect this game to be in the 30s tonight, Marty. 28-yard pickup. Makes it first and 10 at the 37. Inside handoff. Not much going on there by uh, Rodriguez. Last team with the ball wins. Or fewest turnovers. That could be. You are absolutely right, sir. Belt Camp with a 28 yard reception. And uh, that's his sixth on the year. Cans just 10 of 26 on the year for 146 yards. Rodriguez again. And. Uh, Looked like he scored it out of the pile, but then he was pushed back right away. So not much of a gain. You think about that, that's only 36 yards passing per game, so they pretty much like to keep it on the ground. You know, just throw it six or seven times. Like I said, I give a lot of, a lot of my work jobs to the uh, Number 28 tonight, Zach Webster, the 225-pound junior. Third down and seven. Ball on the 34-yard line. Another passing situation, though, Marty. And Kansas sacked back at the 40. I was thinking if they gain a little bit of positive yardage, maybe they go for it on fourth down, but not anymore. Here you see it's just a blitz. Right up the middle. And the takedown. You're right, Marty. They're going to punt. So good field position. Not taking advantage of. Punt. 
kick uh -oh. is blocked. And Howard's Grove is going to get it right at the 50-yard line. We do have a flag down, I believe. In the area of maybe offsides. There you see the block. I guess we're not going to find out. Okay, that's the reason why. Penalty was on Luther Kohler Christian, and that was declined. Part of what I put in my notes, Chris, uh, regarding Howard's Grove is that their special teams were not very special. Well, they certainly were special on that play. Must have saw something on tape because uh, they came hard. Reinem in the up back, Hornis the deep back, and they hand it off to Verfurth. He's caught from behind and can't get away. He's going to get hit for a loss. Michael Krieger on a great play there. Forward progress was stopped. Michael Krieger leading the Crusader attack. Nice play there. Here you're going to see it. Howard just trying to stretch it out, but Krieger came from the backside. It's going to be second down and about 13. Ball spotted on the 47. Verfurth is wide to the to the left. There he is. Oop, wide to the right. Right through his hands though, incomplete. Wide on the left side was uh, Matt Wyklinski, number 80. Got my numbers. Well, we said at the beginning of the show he is uh, third in the state in catches and second in yards. Uh, the only guy who's ahead of him is a young man from Madison East. But uh, Eric Dickmeyer's got 36 completed passes, 27 of them are to Verfurth. Well, that one should have been completed. Here they come. And they're going to get him again. Oh. All out blitz that time by the Crusaders. Can they get him? The green wave. <laughs> Look at this. See you later. <laughs> Where are my friends? Ball is going to be spotted on the 35. That's a loss of 12 yards. Oh, man. What a difference from that first possession, Chris. This possession, they lose 15 yards. Yep, and they don't have enough people on the field. They better hurry. Wow, this isn't a very deep... Uh... Yeah, he didn't go back... Barely 10 yards. Ball's out of bounds uh, outside the 30. Spotted at about the 32. A good punt, though, and you're right, Chris. Man, he wasn't deep at all. Hanky on the field, Marty, again on the. We don't like that. When I talk to the officials before the game, I better tell who they are. Bob Eiting is the referee. He would be the man in the white hat. Marty Marash is the umpire. Josh Deppe is the head linesman. Ryan Neindorf is the line judge. And Brian Yosten is the back judge. You know where they're from? No. <laughs> Normally you always know that. <laughs> sorry, I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to put you in a spot. You did. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can look for payback sometime tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you always ask. I just. <laughs> I know, I forgot to ask tonight. You're right. Uh, personal foul on Howard's Grove. Well, I think they. All righty. Good field position again. Yep. We only need. First and 10. It's almost about midfield there to 47. Webster the up back. Cans on the screen. Got it to Webster. Trying to go right up the middle and does. And I believe he's going to get the first down or he's going to be very close. 
But uh, a little disconcerting, Cairns does not have much time back there. Well, Zach Morgan kind of just bo bottled that up. I mean, you can see number 55. I mean, if he wasn't there to kind of slow things up, I think that would have been a much big, uh, much big of a play. Instead, we have second and one, Marty. Oh, Kans is going to get dropped right at about the 50-yard line. We'll have to see where they spot it. Coming right up the middle was uh, Zach Morgan. That's two plays in a row we called his name. <laughs> Here he comes, untouched, unblocked. Ball is spotted at the 48. Third down. Zach Webster had to pick that block up and uh, he didn't. Now we're back to where we basically started from. Well, they're looking to blitz and see that man right in the middle. And they do. Cans fumbled the ball, picked up by Howard's Grove, and they're going to get it down inside the 30 yard line. I didn't catch the number of the kid. Here we go. Let's check the replay. It's Morgan again. And Hornis picks it up. Yeah. Or not Hornis, I'm sorry. It looked like number 80, yep. Matt Wyklinski. In either case. Howard's Grove has it first and 10. Ball at the 25. First back through oh is Lineman. And another big gainer for him. He's down inside the uh, 10 yard line. That's just his fifth carry of the, of the year, but I'll tell you that's a nice quick burst. Good belly fake there by Hornis. Fooled the uh, Crusaders there. 17 yard pickup. They're on the eight. Verfurth is wide to the right. Slant pass would look good here. Dickmeyer on the option pitches it back to Hornis and he's into the end zone touchdown. Howard's Grove. Too easy. Here you'll see it. Your basic option play. And eight yards later, he's in the end zone. Took advantage of the uh, fumble. Not what you want for Coach Zavada, a blocked punt and a fumble. I'll tell you what uh, Lutheran Kohler Christian is not doing is handling the blitz. No. The blitz patch package by uh, Howard's Grove is just like water through a sieve. All righty. With 3.52 remaining in the first quarter, Howard's Grove on top, 14 to nothing. After I was diagnosed, I didn't feel sick, so I didn't listen to my doctor. Then it struck. I had a heart attack, then a stroke, and I was only 49. People with diabetes are two to four times more likely to suffer a stroke than people without diabetes. And many who survive are severely disabled. Don't let diabetes destroy your life. Learn how to reduce your risk of stroke. Call for your free diabetes survival guide. It is quiet here, Marty. Yeah, for a homecoming, you're right. They do have a good crowd, though. I'll tell you, on the other side of the field, if you pan over a little bit there, Betsy, boy, you can really see the fans on the track. And uh, good performance by Howard's Grove, but uh, the home team needs to uh, pick it up. Here comes right through the... Oh! <coughs> we were looking at another... Kickoff return for a touchdown. Cole Reinerman saved that one there. Who was a return person? I think it was Rodriguez. Okay, Rodriguez on a nice First return. Ten, Christian, well, they got to get going here. Get that offensive going. Feed the Webster. So far, I've got to be honest with you, I'm impressed with how Howard's Grove and how they've handled them. 
Well, that blitzing is just, uh, and lining up offside, I believe, is Howard's Grove, Dean Sikora, number 50. Just take the five yards. It's going to be first and five. Moves the ball to the 47 yard line. First and five. Second penalty on the night for the Grovers. Ball out to the 47. It's first and five. <laughs> Webster the up back. Rodriguez the deep back. Cans the quarterback. Give it to Webster. Now there was some popping. And Webster gets it all the way down to the 45. You know what, Chris? We don't hear very much popping like that, but you saw it on Whoa. that play. Boom. Nice and low. Drive the football. First and ten for Webster again falls forward for a couple. Webster the ball here. Webster the ball carrier. Webster the ball carrier. Marty, I think you're going to say that a lot tonight. Yeah, really. Well, we were wondering about that last week because he didn't carry the ball very often. He's getting a healthy dose of it tonight. Looking to blitz. Good. Pitch back to Rodriguez. He's going to get some yardage there. Rodriguez, the ball carrier. I like that call, Marty. With them blitzing, you got to either run at the gaps that they're blitzing to or try to do some misdirection or some pitch outs like that. That's a great play, and that may slow that blitz down just a tad. That was a good call. You see Coach Holzheit right there. A big third down play. I think uh, if they don't get it here, they ought to go for it on fourth down too. But uh, let's see what happens right here. Howards has almost everybody up. And then we get a whistle. Cam's got his own team. I know he tried to get Howards to jump there, but I think uh, his own man jumped. Well, when that flag comes in from the back, Judge, that's usually an uh, offensive penalty. Yep. And that's exactly what it is. Well, he waited and he waited and he waited and he waited. And uh, unfortunately, the green jerseys jumped and not the white. Boy. All right, now. That should have been just like a quarterback sneak and a quarterback sneak or a, a Webster and a quarterback sneak. This should have been an easy first down. Now you got third and seven. Yep, it's going to be tough. I got a feeling Howard's Grove is going to be blitzing. Although it doesn't look like it right now. There that linebacker sneaks up. Good call again. Pitch out to Rodriguez. He eludes one tackler trying to drag forward, but they pull him back. Uh, I don't, he might have the first down there, Chris. He's getting a good spot from this official right here. First down. But a flag's on the play, Marty. What, a flag again? Jeez. Another good play there. Morgan's blitzing up the middle, so you're running to the outside. Oh, man. Illegal procedure to call on the Coach Savada is not happy. Oh. I didn't have enough men on the line of scrimmage, Marty. Thought they had just Fourth enough. Just enough to gain a bunch of yards. So you went from third and two, or three, to... Third and 12. Oh boy. And there's a lot of penalties so far, Marty, and we still have a minute and a half in the first quarter. Not much flow to the game. Middle screen is complete We've to seen Webster, this but uh, he's going to get tackled short of the first down. Good play, but too early to call it again. Just ran it a couple minutes ago. That's a nice play to fool the defense. I would maybe run a swing play or something different. Yeah. 
And a three. Can't you con over there? <laughs> we don't want to be by those, those guys. <laughs> those guys. <laughs> That'll never die, Jimmy. <laughs> we don't want to be by those guys. <laughs> Lindauer, see if he can boot one. A line driver gets a nice bounce. And smart play that time by the Howard's Grove return man, Mike Verfurth. If uh, our viewers don't know what we're talking about with those guys, they got to start watching more often. Because it was pretty funny. Mr. Wright showing his true colors. Well, we are just discussing the fact that next year we're going to have a you know new... those guys down there? Yeah, they, they have these tailgate stuff going on. And they want me to attend prior to announcing, but I have uh, to... Stay sober? Re repent. <laughs> uh, is there a fumble? People yelling. I was going to say that was Hornus on the carry. A couple weeks ago, we were talking about the fact that they're building a new press box for us here, and we were just talking about like we would like our own little area for ourselves, away from the uh, those guys announcers and the spotters and stuff up here, and it's all in fun. We've known these guys for a number. <laughs> it was. <laughs> We've known these guys for a number of years, but <laughs> that got a little bit out of hand. That's going to be the quarter, though, Marty. Yep, that's going to be it. At the end of one quarter of play, it's Howard's Grove fourteen, Lutheran Kohler Christian zero. There's something you can do to protect your kids from drugs and alcohol. Combine ground beef with egg, tomato sauce, breadcrumbs, and spices. Bake in an oven-safe pan at 350 for 50 minutes. Serve hot. This is Jamie Lee Curtis. Children who eat dinner with their families are less likely to smoke, drink, or use drugs. Mm. So have dinner together every day. Delicious. A message from CASA, the National Center on Addiction and Substance Abuse at Columbia University. Yeah, that's right, that's right, two weeks ago. All righty, back at Ebon Field. Howard's Grove pinned back deep. It's going to be second down and 10 from the nine-yard line. Boy, if they can get a stop, Chris uh, Lutheran, Cole or Christian should get it in great field position. We had mentioned uh, in our opening that Mike Verfurth was uh, prone to the uh, big pass play. He's looking at a 91-yarder if he would, were to break loose from here. And he's got one-on-one -on -one coverage. Inside handoffs, and uh, Reinemann looked like he fumbled it at the end. Let's see how the officials rule it. A lot of green jerseys saying they have it, and they do, and that's what the official signals. There you see it, nice replay, and there you see a good strip by Veldkamp. Veldkamp with the strip. And a much needed turnover for LKC. We talked about turnovers at the beginning. Well, it was a pickup of six yards on the play before he fumbled. But uh, so far, three big plays, turnover type plays. And we're just started the second quarter. Pitch out to Rodriguez. Love that call. Trying to cut it back and gains a pretty good chunky yardage on that run. Rodriguez showing good speed. See, now Howard is not countering LKC here. At first, they're just coming up the middle, coming up the middle, getting a lot of things. Now, Lutheran's doing the right thing by, you know, Going to the outside. Now Howard's got to counter and maybe not send those guys anymore. And maybe that'll clear up some space for Webster up the middle. Or maybe send some blitzers off the corner. Second down and about three. 
Oh, man. You know what I was just thinking, too, but I didn't say anything? Don't get those penalties. That's what drove them back uh, last time they had the ball. That's just discipline. Exactly right there, Chris. Nick, your dad just passed. Steve, you can't be doing that. Steve passed us a minute ago. Second down and eight ball on the 13 yard line. Rodriguez, and, uh, on, the Rodriguez on the carry. Puts it down inside the uh, 10 yard line. Maybe about what, third and four, Marty? I would say. They're going no matter what. This one and the next one if they don't score here. Webster's the up back. Rodriguez on a pitch back, but he's hit for a loss, and then we got a penalty flying in. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a hold on uh, the green shirts. See the counter by Howard's that time? Now we're going to call a play in case you do run a pitch play. That's how this game kind of works. Yeah. You f try to find their weakness, we'll find your weakness. Then you find a new strength, got to counter it. If I was Howard's here, I think I would uh, decline the penalty, make it fourth down, which they do. Holding the call against the Crusaders, the penalty is declined. Fourth down. No gain on the play by Rodriguez. Just as I said, they're probably going to go for it. They're going <laughs> to. They're going to kick. Well, Blindor's got a strong leg and. Uh, he was doing a pretty good job when uh, I was watching him in uh, warm-ups. Let's see if he can get this ball through. 30-yarder. Stinson doing the holding. Ball is partially blocked at the line of scrimmage, and the kick is no good. And the officials blow it dead. Kick is no good. Well, you got to get the blocking up front. First and 10, Howard's Grove on your own 20 yard. It's going to be first and 10 now for the Grovers. Where do you spot it, Chris, on the 20? Yep. So they started on the 8-yard line, 13-yard line. 13-yard line, and they couldn't get twice. any points. That's twice now they've had it down there. Penalties have killed them. Dick Meyer. Under center. Another fumble. Fumble picked up by Lutheran Kohler Christian inside the 20 yard line. Wow. That's Here it is. And watch it go on the carpet. Oh, that's not good, uh, not good defense. Picked up by uh, Peter Ladwig, number 80. Hornis dropped it. First and 10. Ball spotted on the 18. Rodriguez. Oh boy. He dropped it and he picks it or falls on it at about the 24. This is a. Uh, this is why they're 0 years. 4 and 2 and 2 or whatever, Marty. Yep. Yeah, this is not good football. This is not the first week of the season. Penalties and fumbles and turnovers. We were here, what, two weeks ago at 11. Total in the game. Lindauer down below us uh, practicing his uh, kicking. Second back through is Rodriguez. He stumbles forward for a nice gain down inside the 20. I think Morgan got him and he just... Kind of really did tripped the, them up. And, and did the triple jump. You know, hop skipped and jumped himself all the way to the, uh, what, 18 yard line? 17 yard line? Yeah, we'll call it the 17. Pick up a seven that time for uh, Rodriguez.
I'd like to bet my house here, Marty, that they're going to take two downs. I thought for sure last time they yeah, were going to really. just go for it. Well, it's third and eight, third and nine, and timeout for Lutheran Kohler Christian before they uh, run this play. And uh, with 8.27 remaining in the half, Howard's Grove up 14 to nothing. As a reminder that at halftime this evening... I hope you're saving the extra money. you got to put it in stocks. If you want to get ahead... No, no, bonds. And oh, CDs. Cap, you can do better. Stick it under the mattress. <laughs> You want getting plenty of advice, but not enough facts? Visit saveandinvest.org. No confusing advice, no sales pitch. Just unbiased information and tools to help you manage your money with confidence. Saveandinvest.org. We're just talking that they're going to come out with the uh, homecoming court for Kohler and Lutheran at halftime, and I told Marty once again I didn't make it. And I said that's a good thing. <laughs> I've been trying. I never had a chance in high school. Now my post-high school life, I still haven't made court. Oh, crying for you. Please, Chris, that's just too bad. Nice play. Picked off. Oh, what a great the, defensive the play, defender though. defender shadowed uh, Webster, and uh, Cans never saw it. No, exactly. It was a great play call. Set it up right, but good anticipation. By Wal Walensky again. He picked up the fumble before. Now he's got an interception. And again, great field position inside the 20. And they come away with nada. And Walensky is number 80, right? Yep. Grovers have it back, first and 10. And uh, is that Reinemann bowling forward? Verfurth on the carry. No. Verfurth. Yep. His second uh, carry. I'll tell you what, Marty. This press box needs to go because they have a wide selection of flies in here. There's a lot mm. of dead flies here, too. There's a good choice of what brand or flavor you'd like. They're quite annoying. Big gainer. Verfurth. Oh, no, Dickmeyer on the keeper. He was their second leading uh, rusher and ball carrier with 87 yards, and that one was just a right-up-the-middle shot for a Howard's Grove first down. 14-yard pickup. Ball spotted on the 40. Well, he pretty much walked her right down the field on the ground with their first possession, uh, the defense has tightened somewhat. Verfurth on the catch, pulled out of bounds. Just his first catch, 7.36 in the second quarter. Keeping that weapon limited, that's good. Pickup of uh, eight yards on the play. Dickmeyer ducks under center. Hornis in motion. Verfurth oh, no. wide open down the middle. Keeps his feet. He's going to go into the end zone. Touchdown. 52, Marty. 52-yard bomb. Holy cow. How can a guy like that get so wide open? Oh, boy. A lot of standing around by the green jerseys. Holy cow. Lightning strikes. Six touchdown on the season. Did I mention that he's prone to the big play? I think you said something about that earlier. Well, an extra point here would make it 21 to nothing. There's seven, 27 remaining until halftime. Good snap and kick, and it's good. Kick by Rob is good. That makes it 21 to nothing. Howard's Grove.
Nu e ideea. Păi de păr. Păr. Mie. Șanti. Mie, ce-am eu de... We all want the same thing. Peace. And Rotary Clubs... Sorva. ...are making it happen. Lucky. Ha, 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 ha. Through international scholarships for young people to promote peace and understanding... La fe. ...around the world. Simiar is the height. Rotary. Humanity in motion. We'll be back at uh, North next week for their homecoming. I believe they play Preble. And uh, Tommy Ross is going to be out two games, Marty. He had that oh, wrist problem yep, yep, last week. Yep. and uh, So he'll miss homecoming. Yep. That's, uh, then he's got to be, excuse me, reevaluated. So we'll have to wait and see with that. You know, one of their big linebackers over there at North. They're up at Bayport tonight. Who's right, leading the league, and they're like sixth in state. South is at home against Ashwaubenon. A tough game there, too. South's on a roll, though. Yep, they've won the last two games. And Webster, I believe that is, with a good run. Oh, Veldkamp. He's having some fun. There you go. Yep, Veldkamp, big guy. Boom. Nice hole. Yeah. Put his head down at the right time and ran hard. It's going to be first and 10. Ball spotted at about the 47-yard line. Again, good field position. They have to do something with it. Cans oh, fumbles no. the center snap. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, my. And they lose the ball. First and ten, Tigers ball I can remember coaching and, and in high school, the coaches didn't particularly embrace homecoming because there's a lot going on and very little of it revolves around football and therefore what happens is you lose your concentration. Oh, man. First back through, Reinemann. Reinemann, the ball carrier. Krieger, among others, with the stop. Ball spotted on about the 42-yard line. Pick up a four on that play. Dick Meyer at the controls as he's been all night. Pitch back to Hornis. Push back into the backfield. He's grabbed, but they couldn't bring him down. He's still loose and runs right between two uh, defenders, but is knocked down short of the line of scrimmage. I think if he would have came back all the way back across the field, he would have had a much better chance, uh -huh. but he tried to cut it up earlier, and he ran right back into the teeth of the defense. Yep. And Munch, which is correct. Loss of three on the play. Makes a third down and nine. Where's 15? Single coverage in the slot. They're yes. going to run. Wow. Fumble. They're going to blow it dead. Wow. Is that Reinemann on the carry? Hornus stopped for a loss. Hornus. And then... Uh, I think Velcamp made the hit, and it's starting to drizzle, I believe, Marty. Guess what, Chris? It's hard to tell in the booth. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's not. Yeah, this uh, truck's kind of getting wet. Yeah, you're all right. Very light rain, which is a good thing. Dickmeyer trying to avoid the rush, but can't. A sack. And that was on fourth down. What? Yeah, that's was what I that? say. Why are we going for it when you're at midfield up by three scores? <laughs> wow. What is the decision there? Lost a seven on that play. I mean, you can pin them back to the ten. <laughs> yeah. Get a turnover? Something. That's... The green team's not going to argue. We'll take it. We need every break. Inside handoff. Webster fumbled the ball, or did he just? 
Nope, oh, he bounced off a character. Not or two of not. the Howard's Grove people there. Oh boy, got a bad spot. Back to about the 42. Pick up a six. That's Webster's first carry of the uh, quarter. Cans gives it to Webster again. And he Webster crawls close to the first down. I don't think he got it. That's going to be a short third down third attempt down. if he didn't. At this time, we're going to ask all the members of the Howard's Grove and Luther High Courts to report to the vehicle, excuse me, the Kohler and Luther High Courts to report to the vehicle. Oh, sinking. <laughs> Why would Howard's Grove send their court over there? I know they're courteous over here, but that'd be a little bit going overboard. A leap in the pile is Rodriguez, and he gets the first down. Here you're going to see it. First down, Crusaders. I think it would be an understatement to say that they need to score, Marty. No kidding. You're talking about a team that's given up 36, 43, 48, and 50 points so far this year. And you have zero. Rodriguez. Rodriguez on the carry. Rodriguez on the carry. Not much, though. Wagner and Morgan have a stop for the Tigers. Give him a yard at best. It's going to be second down. Clock running. 320 and counting. 21 to nothing. Howard's Grove on top. Draw play. That ain't going to work. Slow to develop. Well, Something didn't look right there. Well, when you got I don't know if he pulled out early or it just seemed like everything was delayed there, including the draw. <laughs> and I didn't mean a delayed draw either. Yeah, well, what happened was they had so much penetration, there just was nothing you're going to do. Ball is outside the 40 now. Call it the uh, 41. Loss of five. A very, 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 very light rain. Rodriguez moved, and he wasn't supposed to. Then he set himself, which was a good play, but uh, they decided to still call timeout. Second timeout by Lutheran Kohler Christian. 2.30 remaining in the uh, first half. Getting all the uh, courts and uh, floats and uh, all those homecoming type activities, getting them ready for halftime. I'm sure we'll have some of that for you, so you want to stick around for that. Vehicle drivers, we also need you to report to the vehicles at this time. All we did uh, check the weather also before uh, the game started on uh, Eric's phone, and boy, you could see the cell coming north. But uh, when I was driving over, they mentioned that there's good possibility for rain, Chris, but uh, not real heavy rain, and uh, so far they're right. Which is good, and that's good for both just Betsy and Eric as well. Yeah, just make sure there's no lightning. And Kerry. I know how he's always concerned up there. In there. <laughs> Third down and about 13. Cans back. Fires over the head of Rodriguez. Pass goes incomplete. Pass intended for Spencer. Incomplete. It's going to be fourth down. Only the second pass attempt by uh, Jake. This quarter. Furnace and Grofer attack for the Tigers. 
Cans was two for two in the first quarter for uh, 31 yards. Lindauer's low kick does get a good bounce. But uh, boy, yeah, kick it that low. It's highly likely that it would get blocked, but not in that uh, case. Well, Howard's is 218. They have all their timeouts left, Marty. I would think if they're going to use them or not, it's going to probably depend on these this first play here or second play. Pitch out the Hornets. He's got the corner. He's out to the 30. Struggles forward to the 35, 15 yard pickup. Nice run that time by uh, Colin Hornis. Here you'll see it. Nice turning right here to get a couple extra yards and uh, get across the 35. It's gonna be first down for Howards. We're gonna be at about the two minute mark when the ball gets snapped, Marty. Verfurth uh, out to the right side, pitch out to Hornis and uh, He's trying to gain yardage before he has the ball. That was a good uh, pitch by uh, Dickmeyer. Hornish just not paying attention. Yeah, you're right. His head seemed to be up, looking up the field, and it cost him a turnover. Another chance for LKC. Boy, just like that. Ball is spotted on the 32 yard line. Luther and Kohler Christians had trouble putting things together. Penalties have hurt them. Sarah likes in the house. Pass is complete to uh, Rodriguez, but he's dropped right away inside the 20 yard line. Pickup of only about three yards. On the counter, Lutheran Kohler Christian only has one timeout left. Veldkamp is a tight end on the right side. He's going right down the middle. Well, Cans can't get the pass off. Too much pressure. I'll tell you, Veldkamp was open over the middle. He released. Waklinski again, he's got an interception. He's got a fumble recovery. And there's a big sack, just as good as a turnover there. Ball is all the way out to the 40 yard line, just a bit outside the 40. That's an 11 yard loss. Oh boy. Had about 18 yards to go for the first down. They're staging the floats below <laughs> us. <laughs> 22 seconds remaining and the clock is running. Hands sacked at the 50. Morgan. Morgan coming through again. Wow. Loss of 10. Nine. Eight. eight. Timeout. So Howard's Grove. Why? Yeah. Well, they want to block punt or a chance for return, but. Uh, oh, boy. Yep, I don't think that was such a smart. I mean, the blitz and everything was great. Of course, if they force, no, well, it's only third down. Fourth down. Fourth, fourth down. Fourth and a mile, or oh. 30 yards. Yeah, I got it 28, but it doesn't matter. 
It's a long ways. Yep. It's a long way to Tipperary. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> here comes a here comes a, a Sebring convertible in the rain. <laughs> All righty. And uh, pull that and a up. Wabbit is coming here. A VW with the top down. <laughs> it's raining. At least it's not leather. It's cloth. <laughs> well, according to our clock, we got a minute five left now, Chris. Oh, I didn't know that. I looked up there and I saw it. I apologize. Yeah, me too. I saw it. Now it's under a minute. And then that Verfirth. Was a good Verfirth. On the west sideline before he's finally roped down inside the 40 yard line. Holy cow. See if you can get a replay of that carry. That's a long punt return. Here you go. Let's see where he takes it. Gets 20. it right on the 20. There's 10. 20. 30. 4. Yeah, 40 yard return. So with 51 seconds left, Howard's Grove. Threatening. And one timeout left. Here's some more convertibles. <laughs> <laughs> this is. Dick Meyer out pattern is caught. But then dropped immediately was Zach Glazer. Down to about the 35. 40 seconds left, Marty. 35 seconds left, Marty. Second down. So a timeout, yeah. Dick Meyer. All day. Quick pass again to Glazer, but that one goes incomplete. Yeah, the slippery pumpkin that time. The light rain is no longer light, Marty. Heavy duty. And let's get more convertibles. Hey, got them. You might as well use them. Yep, there's a dog even sitting in here. <laughs> Dick Meyer back. Middle, Middle screen is complete to your favorite defensive player, Matt Wikolinski. First down. Now Howard's cross timeout, their last one, which, which I don't think is a smart idea, but clock already had stopped, Marty. Uh, just call a yeah, play. Yeah, they'll, they'll start the clock automatically. Correct. Once the ball is but spotted. Now the only chance you have is to throw it into the end zone or get it out of bounds. Or ball is spotted on the 30-yard yeah, line. Yeah, 30-yard line, so they need a, a, a bunch here. Verfirth, the top receiver in the area, only has one catch this quarter. I think he didn't uh, have any. No, no, he had two. I don't have them marked down. He had an eight-yard catch, uh -huh. and then he had that 52-yarder. Forgot to mark that down on his sheet. Quad receivers, Marty. Two to the left, two to the right. Hornis is uh, in the backfield with Dick Meyer. Free play. Nope, they didn't call an offside. Dick Meyer scrambling, fires it. Oh, he's wide field. open. And making a catch is Verfurth, and he's into the end zone touchdown. How can that happen? Oh, man. How can he be wide open? Where is number one five? Holy crap. Let him get behind him. And now I think there really is 10 seconds left, Marty. Well, that was a 30-yarder for a touchdown. Wow. In the kick is Dustin Rabb. It's good. That makes it 28 to nothing. Uh, we may have a running clock in the second half, Chris. Boy, oh boy. Yep, that's uh, real bad defense. Well, you talked about it, this being a high-scoring game. We thought it was going to be both teams. I really did. Fortunately, it's, that's not going to be the case. I mentioned it a couple of times already. Howard's Grove's defense has given up 177 
points in four games. And uh, three turnovers for LKC. A blocked punt and a missed field goal. And uh, Howard's Grove has been just as generous. They've given away the ball three times too, but uh, where they, they, meaning the Crusaders, had a chance to punch it in inside the 20, it just didn't happen. Grab getting ready to kick off. Uh, Rodriguez is back deep along with Stinson. We haven't called his name tonight. Ooh, crunch back. Stinson, the ball here. Stinson. There we mentioned it. 4.2 seconds. It's like the clock just doesn't want to run out. This is going to be the half that goes on forever. Oh, my sheet again for the second time being out here is just loaded. Most of the time in games you have, you know, what about four, five, six possessions on a side. Maybe eight total for the whole half. We're going to be in double digits. And they kneel down. What is that? Anyway, that's the half. With Howard's Grove on top, 28 to nothing at homecoming 2009. At this time, we'd like to present the 2009 homecoming school. Some protected by just a chain link fence. Terrorists are trying to steal these materials to make a nuclear bomb and attack us here. We need to stop them at the source by locking down the materials. There is something you can do to protect America. Visit saferworld.org. Be part of stopping a catastrophe before it happens. What do triglycerides or trigs have to do to get noticed? Normal triglycerides are below 150. High triglycerides increase your risk of heart disease. And if you're a woman, that risk goes up even more. After standing in the shadows of good and bad cholesterol, triglyceride, also known as the forgotten fat, is ready to share the spotlight and the attention. Remember to ask your doctor about the good, the bad, and the forgotten fat. And remember, normal triglycerides are under 150. This message brought to you by Sister to Sister, working together for healthy hearts. Evan Field, and uh, during the halftime, Jimmy Rush went down and turned on the faucet, and now it's raining quite hard. Uh, wow. Yeah, good luck to Betsy and Eric. Be careful out there. Some halftime stats. Uh, Howard's Grove finished the first half with uh, 189 total yards, 102 passing, and uh, 87. It should be 28 to nothing. And uh, 87 yards rushing. Uh, Lutheran Kohler Christian only had 44 yards in the first half, one yard in 25 rushes, and 43 yards passing on four of six with one interception for uh, Jacob Cans. Cans under pressure uh, the entire first half. Uh, let me see here if I can figure this out real quick. I've got uh, Jacob with minus 25 yards rushing in. Uh, Uh, more than that, he's been sacked a lot. Stinson bouncing it to the outside and gets it up and over the 40-yard line. Nice return by uh, John Stinson. I had a strange stat, Marty. 17 minutes of possession <laughs> for Lutheran Kohler. Just 6.51. And they still got no points. For Howard's Grove, you would think... Just by that statistic alone that you would be winning the ball game. But three turnovers for each team, by the way. And uh, other miscues, which we'll talk about later. And uh, Wow. Rodriguez dumped in the backfield. 
and it continues. What are you guys going to give him? One or two? Loss of two for Rodriguez. We'll be back here in a couple weeks when they play Oostburg. Ooh, that's going to be... Oostburg's a good team. They got a big game tonight against uh, Cedar Grove, Belgium. Yep, for the basically the conference, yep. Well, pretty early, but uh, you're right. You know, the winner of that game is really uh, in the catbird seat. Webster on the carry, loses uh, two more. Chris, have you noticed, are they blitzing again, or are they just pretty much playing straight up? Well, Morgan's coming a lot. You're right, Marty. That's number 55 for the white shirts. Stinson is uh, wide to the right. Here he comes again. And they want to do the uh, draw play, and it works this time. But Rodriguez gets it up to the 45, but that's all. He's short of the first down by about five or six yards. As we mentioned before, run to the gap where they blitz. And there you saw a good job of it by Rodriguez. Unfortunately, he just had too many yards to get there. But that's a nice play call to counter that blitz. You know, that's actually great timing on that play, too, because... Uh, he just got the ball as uh, Cans was being dumped. Hornis and Verfurth back deep to take Blindauer's kick. There's a good kick. Had one blocked earlier. Verfurth lets it go. And uh, it's going to be downed deep in uh, Tiger territory. Going to be spotted on the 16 yard line. So close to a 40 yard punt, Chris. It is a 40 yard punt. His best. I believe that's his fifth, though. Ugh, Mr. Wright, stick with your stuff here. I always do my different color pencils, pens like you. Hey, when we're doing a homecoming game, does the same? Oh, oh no. Hornus around the corner. It's a foot race now, and he's in front of the group. He's going to go the distance. 83 Eight, yards. 83 or 84? Oh, they got it 17 up there, so it's 83-yard touchdown run. Wow. Colin Hornis. Here you see it coming right into your 11 room. Good shot, Eric. I think that young man's got over 100 yards now. <laughs> Stating the obvious. And with this extra point. 46 in the first half. With this extra point, this is important because if he makes this, the clock moves. And the officials were not going to deny that. <laughs> That makes it 35 to nothing. And as soon as the kickoff happens, the clock will be running. Yeah, it only stops for uh, touchdowns, the quarter, timeouts, and injuries, I believe. I thought there was a caveat to all that. By the way, look at all, you can see the rain. When it's raining out, it just keeps running. It, yeah, even on, tur on like change of possessions and yeah, things? Yeah, just leave it run. It's it, raining. It does, it does. It does run. Oh, wow. The only time it stops is uh, touchdowns, injuries, timeouts. Injuries, I can understand. And scores. So, How about for a TV timeout? I don't know about that. <laughs> we better choose our spots. Yep. It's 35 to nothing. There's 9.31 remaining in the third quarter. Uh, you can tell that it is raining considerably hard. And uh, looking at uh, some of the radars off the different phones up here, uh, it's going to be raining for a while. <laughs> no bonfire tonight, children. Stinson takes it on about the 15 and cuts it back 
Oh, Towards the middle no. of the field. Did he lose the ball on a fumble? Nope. Yes. Yes, he did. Oh, boy. But they did, did signal the clock to run, so it is. And it's going to be first down for the Tigers. And the ball is spotted on the 33-yard line. Verfurth is uh, wide to the left in the slot. Dickmeyer hands it off to uh, Hornis, and he's dropped in the backfield. Hornis, the ball carrier, stopped by Alex Webster. You know those flies like to make nests in your hair, too. Second 13, ball to 36 yards. Loss of three. Hornis is back down to only 80 yards now in the quarter. Ball carry struggles forward on that. That was, that was Reinemann on that carry. How long did he have in the first half? Not like 20 or so. One for four. Four carries for 30. Make that 56 yards. He had wow. a 29-yard touchdown run. They're going to have a big yardage. Good call. But... Uh, Pass intended for Burford, incomplete. It's going to be third Four down. Six. Fourth down, pardon me. Ball to 30-yard line. Ball spotted on the 30-yard line. Fourth down, well, it's six or seven yards to go. Dick Meyer back, middle screen, and it's dropped. Your favorite player, Chris Wiklinski, uh couldn't make the grab. That was their longest series of the day at uh, 2 minutes and 24 <laughs> seconds, and that's because the clock had to run. <laughs> I mean, they've had, boy. Yeah, those passing or incompletions should have stopped the clock normally. Inside handoff to uh, Webster. He struggles forward for a couple. They're calling Eichhorst. No, Webster had the carry, I believe. Who was it, Jimmy? Jimmy, who carried the ball? Webster. Okay, good. We're all on the same page. Second down and eight. Rodriguez. Rodriguez the ball carrier. And he struggles forward for just a couple, not much. Seen some nice things out of him today. Put the ball on the carpet a couple too many times, but some good bursts. Just a junior. Down to 5.15, Marty. Yeah, this is uh, not a good thing. Webster the up back. Rodriguez the deep back, and he gets the handoff. But uh, he's not going to go very far. A little bit of a scrum at the end, Webster and uh, he got close. Big pile. Yeah, and it was Webster the carrier. Webster was actually lined up as the deep back that time. And the answer is yes. If Lutheran Coda Christian does score, make it under 35 again, then it goes back to the old time rules. Fourth down and one. 
Ball on the 39, just short of the 40. Belt camp is wide right. Way out here. Inside handoff, Webster struggling forward. He's got the first down. Breaking tackles. First down and 10. Oh. Ball is up to the 47 yard line. Pickup of uh, eight yards on that play. Should have been a face mask. You could see it there on the replay. Big time. Trying to figure out which number 70. It's kind of hard now with the rain and dirt Uni. and stuff to yeah, see Uni's it. Uni's getting dirty. Webster again. Gets it up near the 50 yard line. So three carries in a row and uh, four out of the last five for uh, Zach Webster. Ball spotted right at the 50, a three yard pickup. I'm gonna have to say that was Chris Klieger that got away with one before because that was a serious face mask. I mean, he held on for quite a long time. Didn't yank ah, it, but just held on. Quit your complaining. <laughs> <laughs> Hands at quarterback and a quick whistle. Uh, it's going to be probably illegal procedure on uh, Lutheran Kohler Christian. Yep. Look at those umbrellas. She be raining out there. Those are some big umbrellas. They take up a lot of space. I wonder if they could bring them over here when we're watching... Uh, Eric and Betsy and Carrie clean up. Yeah, good point. We could use some umbrellas to make sure they're doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we almost didn't have a field camera tonight. Something wasn't right. Webster on the carry struggles forward for uh, maybe two yards. Not much. The third down. Two minutes. Third quarter. Give them three, Jimmy. It's, a, it's not only nine yards to go for a first down. Was 12. Come on. Cut the guy some slack. All right, I'll give him two also. Oh, fumble. Cans picks it up. And he's knocked down near the 44 yard line. Cans on the keeper. He's picking up the fumble, man. Well, he dropped it. Yeah, that's for sure. Dropped it, it went forward and kicked back right in front of him. Fourth down and 11. Lost a two on that play. Hornison and Verfurth back deep. Ooh, another low liner, not a very good kick. I think they were showing Tom Rush there. And he looked wet. Yeah. He is all wet. Even if it's not raining. <laughs> At least that's what Jimmy says. <laughs> First and ten for the Grovers. Looking to uh, expand on that last possession of two minutes and 30 seconds. They're all time high for this game. And the clock is running down. 15 seconds remaining in the third. Boy, this was a quick quarter, huh, Chris? It makes a difference when the clock's running. And they do the old uh, option play and uh, lose five or six yards. That one didn't work very good. All right. And that's the end of three.
This is a cat. This is fire. This is harmless and actually helpful to some people. Don't believe everything you hear. The fact is that every major health organization rejects smoked marijuana. Now that the smoke is cleared, discover truecompassion.org. There you see the rain coming down and the fans enjoying it. That's those hardy badger people. Not a lot of jumping around if you're a fan of uh, Kohler Lutheran football. Kohler Lutheran Christian football, I'm sorry. Hey, keep messing that up, man. We're going to be getting phone calls. <laughs> Pitch out. Verfurth. Not going far. Pardon me, that was not Verfurth. That was uh, Cole Reinemann. I was showing Chris during the break that uh, Colin Hornis had that 83-yard touchdown run, yet he finished the quarter with only 75 yards. His uh, last two carries were minus three and minus five. Third down and 17. Loss of two by Reinemann. Reinemann again on the carry. Gets it up to about the 35 yard line. Clock running. You know, Kurt Bell is an assistant coach for Howard's Grove. I have his kids over at St. Dominic's. Really good kids. We had them. Oh, he came, yeah, he came over and uh, told me to say hi. He stopped over to say hi to you, but of course uh, you, weren't, you weren't around. I went out there again. to talk to him. And uh, <laughs> his kids were at uh, North a couple weeks ago, and his oldest will be a freshman next year at North, and he's going to be a good one. Hey, if they're big like the dad is. He's a big, big kid. Big kid, just going to get bigger. Clock running, 10 minutes and uh, 15 seconds. You know what I worry about is Kurt's wife, Christy, because she's always got to feed that big I got a feeling we're going to see a run here, Chris. Oh, man. There's only one defender out here for three guys, and they could have been blockers if uh, the quarterback wanted to run it. Oh. Rodriguez knocked down inside the 35. It's going to be first and 10 for the Crusaders. Ball's going to be spotted at the 35. Officials making our job a little easier. Next week we're going to be at uh, North High School when the Raiders host Green Bay Preble in their homecoming. Is that way a South Mantuak then? Is that what that is? I think and that's then we have a Lakeland good. game on Saturday. Well, if we do them both, we have yeah, South. Sorry. You're right, Manitowoc at South on October 9th. And then the Wisconsin Lutheran at Lakeland on the 10th. That'll be good to see Manitowoc. They're big, and they're good. I'm looking forward to that. They're leading up there. One of the three teams undefeated so far. Rodriguez on the carry, but uh, no gain. Uh, you're right, they... Uh, when I was looking them up, or the conference, I mean, and then looking up, like, the top seniors and all, it seemed like on most, a lot of the lists, there was always a Manitowoc kid on there, so you know they've got talent. They're big, and so we'll have to see what Coach Hine and the boys have to counter that size. Next week's North Preble. We've got Lutheran coming up. Excuse me, Lakeland coming up. Pitch out to Raul. Oh, good crackback block out here on the corner. Making the nice block to spring the runner was Peter Ladwig. To buy him a Snickers for that nice block. Here you see it, right? Oh, you couldn't tell. A little bit late. Nick Redeker, too, making a nice block. Number 70. 15 yard pickup on that play. First and 10, ball spotted right on the 50. Clock running under eight minutes now. I know it's. 
still raining, but it seems a little lighter than it was. You know why that is? Because we're used to the rain. <laughs> <laughs> Pitch back to Rodriguez. Cuts up inside. He's on the loose. And he's lassoed down right at the 20 yard line. Third, uh, 30 yard gain. Well, good job of Howard's Grove getting some new people out there. Alex Schultz making the tackle there. Longest gain of the night for uh, the Crusaders. Yeah, Rodriguez has done a lot of nice things tonight. You've given him the ball, that's for sure. Cans under center. And a whistle stops Press action. Watch. That'll be a penalty on uh, the green team. Those penalties, too, were uh, very harmful in that first half. You know, I'm not saying it would have been any different, but you, it would you, have never, been different. you never know. Yeah, it you, would have been different because they, they, they basically shot themselves in the foot with the They penalties. never had chances to score, and, you know, you, you just never know what could have happened. They had nice chances inside the, the red zone. Just got nothing out of it. You're absolutely right, sir. Ball on the 25. And uh, Rodriguez again, but not much. Six minutes. Second down and 16. We're halfway through now, quarter number four. There you see the brain trust for uh, Lutheran Kohler Christian, Matt Zavada, El Holzheimer. Motion swing again. Swing pass to uh, Rodriguez. Another penalty, though. Oh, you know what? It, it was tough to see the ball. I almost thought one of the white jerseys stepped right in front and intercepted it. Not that, not the case. Right there. Can we see the penalty? Oh, yeah. I saw the penalty. Okay, I didn't see it on the replay. I think it was Veldkamp. Leaving early. Ooh, so one of those kind of penalties. Uh -huh. Illegal motion is declined. It's going to be uh, only a two-yard pickup on that pass completion. Third down and 14, clock running, 4.50 remaining in the ball game. We're out here at Ebon Field. And uh, as I look at the schedule, Chris, I think we are coming back out. You mentioned it earlier on October 16th when Oosberg comes to town. Webster the up back, cans on the fumble, and he didn't get it. We have to see who recovered that. Well... Center quarterback exchanges. There's just no excuse. Oh boy. Keeping track of fumbles. That's turnover number five. Actually, I think they improved from the last time we were here. Didn't they have yeah, like it was seven? seven to four. Ball is spotted on the 24 yard line. Well, this time they have uh, five turnovers, a missed field goal, and a blocked punt. So, Well, this could be the longest possession. Three minutes and 40 seconds or so. If they can run out the clock. Yep. Some new personnel in there. That's a good thing. Ryan him in on the carry. Let the kids play. Jacob Schultz, uh, junior quarterback. In there now. Is that... Reineman on the carry? Yep. Pick up a nine. Just missed getting the first down. Second short ball to 34 yard line. Technically, the ball's on the 33. <laughs> Whoa. Motion on Howard. Yeah, and Schultz goes down in the backfield. 
But I think uh, with a motion penalty, the, an automatic five. Hayden Ryder here, getting his first action. Don't have a penalty. Oh, and Webster's wobbling off here. Not a good thing. You know, this is, yeah. Play your guys, 35 to nothing. Jeepers. Might as well, because you're going to need well, that horse. You know what's interesting here is they're talking to the sideline, what should we do? And as they're, you know, trying to make these decisions, the clock just continues to run. It's down to 2.15 and counting. Third down. Ooh, right in the backfield, the ball carrier is stuffed. No blocking that time. Krieger. Reinemann on the carry, Krieger on the tackle. Ball all the way back on the 30 yard line. More losses. 130 and counting. Last week, I think we had a almost a record for number of big plays of over 10 yards for uh, De Pier. I think both teams today have had a lot of negative plays. New punter, oh, almost blocked. He did tip it. And the ball is down right at the 45. Yeah, Peter Becker got a tip on that. We're going to be down to uh, under a minute. Well, it took 59 seconds, or excuse me, yeah, 59 seconds for uh, Howard's to score their first time, and uh, by 3.52 of the first quarter, they scored again. A blocked punt by uh, Howard's Grove stopped Lutheran, and that uh, fumble by uh, Lutheran turned into Hornets' big play. Cans on a lob pass. It's oh, oh. almost intercepted. Dropping the ball was uh, Zach... Cheriton. Boy, you should have had oh, that. Oh, that's a statistic at the end of the year. You could have tell it your kids. You know, I remember my interceptions. Yeah, and cooler. Timeout. Lutheran with 17 seconds left, Marty. Second down and 10. They're not thinking about Betsy, are they? Well, I was going to. The crew tonight was uh, Kerry Coutzer spinning the dials in the truck, doing a great job with the replays. And he brought cookies again. Yeah, Betsy Bai is up on top doing the top camera, her uh, initial outing with uh, WSCS-TV. She better not bring rain if she's going to come. Yeah, really, she's a bad start. Eric Wiesman doing the field camera, taking over for uh, Brian Andrews, who could not be uh, with us at this ball game. There he is. That's him right there in the That's green. Eric Look Betsy. at Betsy. Hey, there you go. <laughs> My At partner. least our, our camera people are getting better looking. Yeah, really. Chris Wright is the uh, color man. I don't know if Eric liked that comment, though. Which, getting better looking? Yeah, our camera people. Well, some of them are getting better looking. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are again. Just some of them. Did I mention I haven't been on the court yet? Ugh, that would be the homecoming court. Pass is incomplete, and uh, that will probably be it. Pass Clock continues to run. If uh, the power doesn't give out, it is stopping every once in a while, <laughs> and then it continues to run, and that is the ball game. Howard's Grove uh, stops their losing streak at four this season and wins 35 to nothing over uh, Lutheran Kohler, and... Uh, Lutheran Kohler Christian is uh, really struggling in league play, Chris. Yeah, they are, and it's it's turnovers and, and mistakes. And, and you're talking about a football team that's been together since the first week in August. And, and we said at the opening, stuff we thought we'd probably get cleaned up hasn't done it yet. So hopefully they can work on that, and when we see them against the Dutchman in a couple of weeks, I'll maybe get a better result. All right, with that, we're going to sign off again one more time. The final score was Howard's Grove 35, Sheboygan Lutheran Christian 0. Uh, with that, uh, so long everybody, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you down the road.